feel emotional with the women. <laughs> it's an emotional time. Hi. So it's the start of another week, obviously, because I'm vlogging, duh. Today is actually quite an interesting day. It's International Women's Day, and I'm going on an East Pack tour around London, which is very random. But they did this last year, they took us on a tour and we met six inspiring women, and they were all girl bosses, basically. They were all really inspiring, and had started their own businesses, or just carved out really interesting, varied careers. I think there's gonna be a lot of food for thought. They've sent a taxi to pick me up, so I'm gonna take you along with me. This is ASOS HQ. For some reason I've been here quite a few times but I've never worked here. So look! <laughs> this is the ASOS breakfast spread that they've got on for us. So we've got tortillas, yeah. some bread. muffins, nice flapjacks, I'm guessing. Bread, oh god that bread, looks, that bread looks good. Today for us is a celebratory event. We're taking this opportunity to, to celebrate and to uh, share with you and introduce you to some women that we find very inspiring, very empowering. But well, I'm going to hand you over today to Natalie Michaelides, who's the Executive Fashion Style Director here at ASOS, and she's going to tell you her story, and we hope you we share it with our women out there. I think we really here promote new talents, and whether it's working with young photographers like Ash Kingston, who's out of London, and he started shooting when he was 16. He just picked up a camera one day, and he's only 20 now. So this girl, Alana, here just walked Balenciaga, like, at the weekend in Paris, um, and we shot her a couple of months ago. She's just a really cool girl, got loads of tattoos, got her own style and we kind of liked the contrast of her with like, these really girly clothes. We felt like it made it feel more authentic. Who we are, we're creative and authentic to our core. What we do together, we grow fresh talent and keep fashion moving forward. And why we do it, because fashion thrives on individual style and should be fun for everyone. And I think as a brand, we're really democratic and um, we want anyone to feel like they can look and feel their best. I think going back to my first point of why I wanted to kind of get into magazines was to kind of inspire inspire women really um, and kind of empower girls. We're at Parliament Tattoo and we're going to meet someone who I think, I think she did Carrie's tattoo. Hello. Oh gosh. I'm not a dog person. And I'm just going to give you a picture of some paper. Just do a little like, one or whatever. Oh god. I think we're going to design a tattoo. And then I had my daughter and it was just something I didn't want to carry on with because it was unsociable hours and I just wanted to find a career basically that meant that I was really flexible and somebody suggested tattooing because I had tattoos. I'd never even drawn before really, it was something that it just wasn't even in my kind of vision. Fortunately, like a tattoo studio opened up at the road and I went in and I lied and I said I was already a tattooist. <laughs> I quite quickly realised that I didn't know what I was doing so I was just like getting my husband in and just trying to like do stuff and then they were like, would you like an apprenticeship? And I was like, yes, yes I would, yes. Please. These are some of Rebecca's designs and that is mine. <laughs> Wednesday, I just managed to go to my desk space for the first time, so I wasn't working from my bedroom, which is great. And now I'm going to head to the MS press day, so it's a high summer press day, and apparently it's going to get a bit warmer, so I might get a little bit inspired. I need it, even though I've got one that's really, really similar. I'm just off to my next event. It's the Forever 21 dinner at the Hoxton. So I'm starting my vlog now. I'm at this Gala Darling event. So if 
you don't know her, she's a really cool blogger and she's all about radical self-love, feminism, all that jazz. For a generation that has grown up online, Gala's message of self-love is particularly relevant and needed when we're constantly presented with things outside ourselves distracting us from the happiness that we're all seeking. Gala, you are a secret-loving, bubblegum shooting, black fob, rocking mm. wild heart. <laughs> but more than this, you're a trailblazer of radical self-love, all of us with a voice in the digital world. We thank you for being you, and we're so honoured to be able to celebrate with you tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Gala Darling. Thank you so much for being here, this is amazing. Um, I'm a blogger, I am from New Zealand originally, but I now live in New York City, and I've been writing about radical self-love for almost 10 years, which is crazy. <laughs> So um, tonight it's super informal, I'm going to teach you a little ritual that you can do at home that will help you to manifest more things in your life and just accept what you have and be excited about it, which I think is really important. It's very easy to look around and compare ourselves to everybody else and not necessarily appreciate what we have. So I'm going to lead you through something that will hopefully make you feel really good about your life. Because what's better than that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's in three parts and it's really easy. But I promise you'll enjoy it. I'm grateful for um, my friends. I think in the last few months I've really realised like I've got friends that actually give a shit. Mm -hmm. And it's nice mm -hmm. because yeah. like the online world is great, but it's also it's really nice to know that you've got friends at home and close friends to give you good advice and just make you feel genuinely loved and supported. So we're all burning a word that we want to get rid of from our lives. No, it's just ridiculous. So I'm going to put it in the cauldron. Oh, put it in. It just popped up again in the vlog. Go. Number one, be grateful. Number two, visualise what you want. And number three, write on a little bit of paper something that you want to let go of and then burn it in a little tiny cauldron. So careful, don't be play careful. with fire. So I'm back home. That was such a fun and positive event and we all got a copy of the book. I managed to get it signed by Gala. So that's really nice of her. And I think, yeah, I'm going to give it a read and hopefully feel a bit more positive. You know, we can all do with a bit more positivity. We all focus on the negative so much. I'm going to start saying affirmations every day now. You know, let's see if it works. Hello! So it's Friday and I glam myself up a bit because I'm actually going to a charity event today with Rainbow Trust. I thought that I was going to be on my own but I managed to wangle an invite for Hannah who's another really really cool blogger. We're going to take some blog pictures and have a catch up. It should be a really really fun day. Right, I'm shooting Hannah. <laughs> We've come to, ooh, so we're shooting in Somerset House. It's really nice, nice sunny day, a bit chilly though. Obviously the red I mean, carpet is, the dirty. red carpet is not for us. Like, <laughs> this oh, is, yeah. I think it's Rob, is it Barbara Windsor? Am I like, so cute. I don't. you know when you can't, you don't know who it is from the side. You know, like, oh my God, we're like literally over here. Ooh, okay, there's a table wrestle. Oh, it's really, really nice in here. So a very warm welcome to Trust in Fashion in aid of Rainbow Trust Children's Charity. The point why we're all here is to raise money for such a fantastic cause, supporting families with terminally ill children. So we've got a fantastic afternoon ahead, delicious tea, champagne, and obviously wonderful fashion shows. proud of what we've achieved and the numbers of families that we now help so thank you for helping us celebrate through your a tremendous generosity today we will be able to help 40 families like the Ellis family that you saw on the film this afternoon our support makes all the difference in the world to families and you've helped us tremendously so there was a table raffle and we won, we won the raffle so we won this bag of goodies. Is it vegan though? Coffee. Oh, coffee's vegan. Coffee is vegan, yes. Oh my god. Braver. This is very you. Oh, it's like they've made it especially. Oh my god. And that's not vegan, is it? Sorry, I can have vegan. that. It's not vegan, yes. Oh my god. We're on a table with like Amanda Wakely. 
That is very surreal. And the editor of Marie Claire. The editor of Marie Claire, who we did not talk to because we are really <laughs> rubbish at networking. Yeah. But one day, one day we will talk to her and we will say, we were on your table yeah. once. That sounds really stalkerish. Hi. So it's actually a week later and I thought I would end my vlog because I didn't know how many days I wanted to vlog. I don't know whether you want like, do you like long vlogs? Do you like short vlogs? Like at first I didn't really know what these vlogs were but it is just an insight into what a blogger's life can be like. I've also got different hair. I know I always have different hair in every video but I'm actually going to Singapore going to Singapore on Sunday so the next vlog will be from Singapore in a couple of weeks make sure you follow me on snapchat and Instagram I'll actually hopefully this will go up whilst I'm on my flight so I've never been to Singapore before so I'm looking forward to finding out more about it and eating some food really good food thank you for watching as per usual and I will see you in my next video bye